Welcome to live2clays.com, best e-learning portal for IIT JE, NEET and Foundation. Hello students, in this video I will discuss about Clausius clapeyron equation. This equation is used to calculate the vapor pressure at another temperatures if the vapor pressure is known at some temperatures. This equation basically relates the vapor pressure and the temperature of a substance when the molar enthalpy of vaporization of the substance is given. And so this is the uh, formula given here of Clausius clapeyron ln that is natural log p2 upon p1 p1 is, uh, p1 is the initial vapor pressure and p2 is uh, final uh, vapor pressure delta s is molar enthalpy of vaporization of the substance r is a gas constant and t1 is initial temperature and t2 is final temperature i have given the units also units are more important uh, uh, basically like when we apply this formula to solve a problem p1 p2 these are the pressures and so the units of pressure is used in MMHG or TOR, T O R R, and temperature is used in Kelvin. R is a gas constant and its value is 8.314 and its unit is joules per mole dot K, and so delta H value is used in joules per mole. This is a problem given here, and in this problem, I will show you how you can use this equation. Uh, well, the problem said, says that the molar enthalpy of a vaporization of hexane. The chemical formula of exchange is given and molar enthalpy it is talking about molar enthalpy of vaporization means it is talking about delta h is is, is 28.9 kg per mole here we have delta h value and its normal boiling point is 68.73 degree c this is the most important point this is where most of the students gets confused the vapor pressure of a substance at its normal boiling point is not given in the problem just to confuse the students because uh, the vapor pressure of a substance at its normal boiling point is taken as 760 mm hg mm hg this is the value we take now the question asks to calculate the vapor pressure of hexane at 25.0 degree c this is the initial temperature we label it as t1 and this is the final temperature T2 at T2 the pressure vapor pressure is P2 at initial temperature we have to calculate the vapor pressures we label it as P1 means we have to calculate P1 delta H value is given T1 T2 values are given P2 value is also given and we have to calculate P1 we can apply this formula and we can calculate the initial vapor pressure of hexane well before we apply this formula we need to uh, uh, have the relevant units you can see that temperature temperature is used in Kelvin but in the problem temperature is given in degree Celsius that's why we need to convert a degree Celsius temperature value into Kelvin here we have T1 value T1 is equal to its value is 25.0 degree C and so we add 273.15 and the value which we get here we get 273.25 uh, plus 25 it gives us 298.15 and it is in Kelvin now next we have t2 value t2 value is also given in degree celsius here we have 68.73 and it is degree celsius plus 273.15 and so the value which we get here we have 68 68.73 and so we add 273.15 and it gives us the value 341.88 here we have 341.8 it, this is the final temperature in Kelvin now it comes to uh, Delta S that is molar enthalpy of vaporization in the formula we use uh, its unit as a joules per mole but it is given in kg per mole in the problem that's why we do the conversion unit conversion for Delta H also Delta H is equal to 28.9 and it is kg kg per mole we convert kg into uh, joules 1 kg is equal to 1000 joules per 1 kilojoules 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 will cancel out we can multiply the values here we get a 28900 and it is in joules per mole now we can apply the formula this uh, classius clapeyron equation here we have natural log and p2 upon p1 natural log and P2, P2 value is 760 mmHg, 760 and upon P1 and is equal to delta H value we have calculated. This is the value we have, uh, 28900 and it is in joules per mole. 
upon R value. R value is 8.314 and its unit is joules per mole K bracket. 1 upon it is T1, 1 upon T1 minus 1 upon T2. We can plug in the temperature value. 1 upon T1 value is here we have 298, 298.15 and minus 1 upon T2 value is 341, 341.88. Now we can do the calculation. In temperature, the unit of temperature is Kelvin. Kelvin, Kelvin will cancel out. Joules per mole, joules per mole will cancel out. And on left side, P2 value is in mmHg. It means that P1 value we are going to calculate in mmHg. Now we can do the calculation. Here we have ln bracket 760 upon P1. And is equal to right side, we have, we can divide uh, the value. At the top, we have 28. 28900 and it is divided by 8.314 and the value which we get that is 3476 here we have uh, 3476 and so break it we can do the cross multiplication 341.88 minus 298.15 and uh, yes, sorry it is 15 and at the bottom here we get a 298.15 multiplied by 341.88 now we can subtract these values the value which, which we get that is uh, 341 341.88 and minus 298.15 and gi it gives us 43.73 here we get 43.73 and uh, the value at the top we we have we can multiply these values at the top here we have 43.73 is multiplied by 3476 3476 this is the value we get it is a quite large value 5152005 here we have 152005 upon we can multiply the bottom values also then we divide them here we have 298.15 and multiplied by 341 Point eight eight, and it gives us the value that is one zero one nine three one. We can write it one zero one nine three two, one zero one nine three two. Now we can divide these values. On left side we get seven sixty upon P one, and now we can divide the top value. Here we have one five two zero zero five, and it is divided by one zero one. Uh, 932 and the value which we get that is 1.49 here we have 1.49 on left side here we get ln uh, 760 760 upon p1 now we can transfer the lns on uh, right side then see here we get 760 upon p1 and see here we get e2 powers 1.49 now here we have 1.49 and so e2 powers here we have this is the value we get 4.44 we can write 4.44 um, we can round up these figures here we have 4.44 and then we can do the cross multiplication we can transfer this value on left side and p1 is transferred on right side then the setup we get p1 is equal to 760 upon 4.44 now we can divide these values 760 is divided by here we have 760 at the top and it is divided by 4.44 and the value which we get that is 171 here we have 171 this is the initial vapor pressures of hexane at 25 degrees C here we have 171 and its unit is mm Hg. You can see how I calculated the initial vapor pressure of the substance at its initial temperature by using a clausius clapeyron equation. Thank you. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you have any questions or suggestions, please comment below. For more updates on IIT JE or NEET exams, please subscribe to our channel to get lot of updates. Support us by following us on Facebook and Twitter. To sharpen your skills, please try out our test series on livetotalage.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.